starting up to assignment 5. If W is a subspace of a finite dimensional vector space V, then dimension of W is less than equal to dimension of V. Please note here the remark. If W equal to the singleton set with zero element, then dimension of W is equal to zero. Please note, if W is equal to this, then dimension is zero. The zero vector itself does not have a dimension. The vector space consisting of only the zero vector has dimension zero. This is because a basis for that vector space is the empty set. And the dimension of a vector space is the cardinality of any basis for that vector space, right? So the dimension is zero. Now the proof, what is given to us? W is a subspace of finite dimensional vector space V. We have a vector space that is finite dimensional and W is a subspace for that vector space. So we have to prove that dimension of W is less than equal to dimension of V, right? Okay, uh, suppose, first of all, if W is equal to this element have, containing one element singleton set with zero element, then I know that dimension of W is zero. Okay, now this zero is obviously less than equal to the dimension of V because V is a finite dimensional, right? Now, so the proof is over. If W is equal to the singleton set having zero element, then there is nothing to prove. Suppose W is not equal to singleton set containing element zero. Let, let's take V1 non-zero be in W, right? Because it is not containing this element then. Suppose this W contains one element vector V1, right? Then the singleton set V1 is linearly dependent or linearly independent. Yes, tell me. This is linearly independent. Why? Because if you uh, take a linear combination uh, of v1 with alpha and this is equal to zero for linearly independent set the scalar must be zero right so here alpha is zero that means v1 is non-zero so whenever you have a non-zero vector single vector non-zero then this is linearly independent subset of w so this is linearly independent right so this is linearly independent subset of W, right? So therefore, this V1 can be extended to form the basis of W. Yes, I can extend it to form the basis of W, right? Because it is itself a linearly independent and then be, there may be some more linearly independent vectors. So I can extend this to form the basis for W. So there exists Let's say vector uh, v2, v3, right? v4 up to vn, right? Which belongs to w. So let's say there exist vectors v2, v3, v4 up to vn. That belongs to w such that this complete set along with V1, this is a basis for W. So such that V1, V2, V3 up to Vn, this is a basis for W, right? So now what is the dimension for W? Because these are the bases and dimension is the number of elements present in the basis. So this is dimension of W is equal to N here, right? Now since... V1, because these are the bases, I can see that V1, V2, V3 up to Vn is linearly independent subset of W. And W is a subset of V. Please see here, 
this is your v vector space this is a subspace of v that is w and it is containing v1 v2 vn as the basis and because these are linearly independent subset of w and w is itself containing in v so these are also the linearly independent subset of v right so v1 v2 v3 up to vn this is a linearly independent subset of v also right now since every linearly independent subset of v contains no more than dimension v vectors yes so therefore can i write n is less than equal to dimension of v yes and from where i have got this n n is nothing but the dimension of w so this implies the dimension of w is less than equal to dimension of v hence the result is it fine okay thank you